Excuse me? Sorry, what kind of question is that? game. <laughs> Alexandra Botez. Very funny, you guys. Talk about Alexandra uh, Ocasio-Cortez. Yeah. <laughs> Have I ever played against Gary Kasparov? Yeah, I played Gary quite a few times over the years. Yeah. Um, why y'all so pressed? Chill. Yeah. Yeah. Do I think they changed the voting age to 18 from 21? Maybe. I don't know. I mean, I don't think there's any real pertinence. I mean, I don't think there's any uh, like exact reason you should, though. I'm going to play B6 here. I'm going to play Knight A6, Knight C5. Um, Knight C5 here, target the bishop, target the pawn. Three pieces. Have I ever played uh, Have I ever played against Peter Svidler? Yeah, I've played him many, many times. Great guy. I feel terrible for him. He's stuck in Russia right now. Everything's kind of going to, going to chit. So, I mean, I feel terrible for Peter. I mean, that's the problem. Like, the people suffer. It's always what happens when you have a government going rogue. People people pay the price. Okay, let's trade the queens here. He's not stuck. Well, I mean, not literally stuck, but I think it's very... I mean, I don't think he can get out. Uh, let's trap the queen here on f5. Do I accept challenges? No, we're playing in the pool. We're, we're just chilling in the pool right now. So, yeah, it's a little bit different. Um, let's just free Rook. Uh, let's go here. Checkmate. Next game. Probably do about 40 more minutes of this, I'm guessing. Um, let's keep going with E6, King E7. What's the favorite city I've been to? My favorite city... There are many cities. It depends what you mean, what the qualifications are. Um... I think if you ask me what my favorite city is, it depends. Like, are you talking like food wise? Are you talking like culture? Are you talking for like the chess atmosphere? Like it, it's so many different things. Uh, best food that I've ever had. Um, I honestly, I'm going to say, I'm going to say Japan. I'm going to say, I'm going to say Japan uh, is probably is number one for me. I would say comm commendable, um, uh, like giving, giving a special mention would probably be to Italy and France. And by Italy and France, I don't mean like Paris or or um or milan i mean play like the little small mountains like the mountain cities and things of that nature um that you'll see in france and in italy the food some of the food there that you can get is it's simply out of this world good so i would say those those they both deserve special uh, special mention um but japan in my opinion is number one go rook a8 go knight a5 knight c4 target the juicer what am I doing with fan meat in Germany? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I love North African food. I'll, I mean, I'll say that. Like, I love it. Like, I mean, if you, if you like, if I, I go eat, like, Moroccan food, I mean, tagine, all that great stuff, couscous, mmm, I love it. Um, but I would say on average, I mean, probably, um, probably Japanese is number one. Uh, have I watched any boxing lately? I actually have. The other night I was watching uh, Frazier versus Ali. Um, and I also watched Foreman versus Ali from Zaire as well. So King F2. I also watched Fury versus um, Wilder as well. A couple, maybe a week ago. Like real boxing. Real boxing from the real times, you guys. Don't tell us who won. Yeah, I mean, th those were... Uh, those matches kind of happened almost 50 years ago, so it's it's pretty hard not to spoil it. Let's play bishop d2, bishop c3. Take the rook here. Did I say boxing like Ali? Yes, you guys. Boxing. Yeah, I said Wilder versus Fury. I watched uh, some of those matches again. Tyson versus Ali, that would have been different. But yeah, Mike's, Mike's, Mike Tyson's uppercut. Uh, that was a thing of beauty. Play Knight G5. Uh, 
All right, let's keep going. Have I ever been to Turkey? Oh, excuse me. Have I been to Turkey far too many times? Oh, I hung upon. Crazy underscore underscore eight just took five dollars out of Bezos's pocket. Good night, four here. Um, oh, he blunders. This is a classic tactic. Very, very nasty tactic too at that, which ends the game. He's so much crazy eight for the 21 months. Just take. Do you like shawarma? Of course I do. I mean, I like all food, really. Jake Paul could beat Ali. Yeah. Yeah. Play knight d2. I'll play h3 and g3 and bishop g2. Uh, so g4. Who likes German food? German food is good, too. I mean, not, nothing like some good, uh, nothing like some good, um, a Wiener schnitzel. I guess play 95 and just trade some pieces. Sauerkraut and stuff too. I mean, come on, it's all all incredible stuff. Hmm, sounds good just thinking about it. it. Makes me want to eat some. Wiener schnitzel is Austrian. I mean, maybe technically it is. I I don't know. I mean, like, I guess it was Garpy for the five months. Garpy just took five dollars out of Bezos's pocket. Thanks. Oh, you know what I had in Germany that was very interesting was uh was uh Berlin Wurst or what was it called? I forget it. It's like the hot dog thingy. Curry Wurst. Curry Wurst. That was definitely something that I I was a little bit intrigued by. Curry Wurst. Play F3 and E4. Just kick the rook out of town. Go so here. I want to go A4 to remove the remove the rook. This guy's playing pretty well. Don't actually have a lot going on here. Did I watch the Vita versus Anisha? No, I didn't, you guys. I was streaming during the match. I like Kubi Day, of course, obviously. Everybody likes Kubi Day. But I mean, I like all, all that Middle Eastern stuff, so like Kubi Day, Kebab, Shawarma. I mean, it all is kind of pretty similar. It's not too different. Yeah, it's, it's all very, very similar. I mean, I like the stews more if you're talking like Middle Eastern, like Fes and June, um, things like Bagali Polo, things of that nature. Let's play E6, King E7, um, and go from there. Yeah, May is another thing that's very good if you're talking about Persian food. Let's play King E7, maybe F6, King F7, Knight E7, and go from there. Bishop B4 as well. Um, let's play Bishop B4. Uh, I'll take take with the pawn here. Play Knight E7 and Queen G8. I mean, I love Indian food too. It, all, all the food from those places is just so good. Like Indian food. I mean, I love Indian food. Indian food's amazing. I mean, I could just like eat that all day long. So yeah. Anyway, let's play knight six, maybe queen d six, maybe uh, a six, and just keep going. When will I leave for the Olympiad? I ain't playing the Olympiad, you guys. I ain't going there. I decided a long time ago that I wasn't playing the Olympiad. So yeah. Shopify minus fifteen percent, ten for fire, ten percent of their employees. Yeah, I saw that. Um, I mean, I haven't done anything in the markets lately. I mean, I bought some stuff right at the bottom in June. But it was very is stuff that I'm very very conservative on. I haven't really been buying much. I mean, mind you, the last thing I bought, I am up like 25% since I bought it. But I mean, other than other than a couple of very sparing and pretty light buys, I haven't been touching much in the market in a long time. Hey, okay. uh, I'll go bishop b5 here. What was it? I mean, there were two things. That, I mean, basically, I've been buying BDC stocks that have like high yields and also Boeing. I bought Boeing at 130. I think in late May, maybe or early June, and I mean Boeing is near 160. I mean I don't know where it's at today, but it was near 160. Um, so just incredible return there. And then there was stuff like Maine, which is another dividend stock that I've actually spoken about on stream. And when I when I was in Spain before the tournament started, I just the market was too oversold around June 15th, and I bought a bunch at 35, and now it's like 40. It's actually green on the day, I think, and it's a, it's a 43 bucks. So some pretty 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 good returns, but not not easy, of course. Go check and take. Keep going. All right, let's play e6, king e7, next move, and then f6. Late title Tuesday will start at 5 p.m., 5 p.m. local time. So in about two hours, a little under two hours. Any countries I haven't visited, I've only been to 61, 61 countries, or 62, so yeah, there are a lot I haven't been to. 
You get actions with dividends as well? What do you mean? I don't know what you mean by that. I'm actually in some trouble here. I have to be very careful. Wait a second. Um, let's go here. I'm doing what again? Yeah, 61 or, or thereabouts. I mean, it's something. I mean, of course, they're like 180 or whatever, but yeah. You get stocks with dividends? Of course. In this environment, you'd be insane to buy almost anything else. Good check. Maybe Rook D6, I guess. Although, we'll, we'll see what happens today. Because today is the day that either there are real problems in the world or everything is actually completely fine. It, it, the earnings after market are very, very critical. I mean, we'll probably rally 5% if the earnings are good. Let's take on D3 and take on B2. Have I been to Argentina? Uh, one time, one time. All right, let's keep going. Fed is tomorrow, yeah. Go here and king, king of seven. Go king of seven, 97, d5, all very standard. Have I met Messi? No, of course not. I have a huge meeting, wish me luck. Good luck, good luck, man, good luck. I don't know about five is good, probably not. I guess I'll go C5, play it like a French. There we go. Yeah, Walmart got crushed on earnings yet last night. I saw that too. But again, I like I said, I haven't been buying anything. I'm just watching certain stocks, specifically dividend stocks. And when the yield gets a little bit too, little bit too, too, too out of whack. Relative to what the what the net asset, um, the, what, relative to what the na nav is and other things, like that's when I actually look. But I haven't been looking at anything like serious in a long time. Need so much just sat sad B for the six months. We'll just take a G five here. Try to open up the king side a little bit. I have great ops that are going to open up in a second and big big problems. Let's go here. I'm lining it up. I'm lining up the battery and uh oh, spaghetti. Look at these ops. They just crush. I've never been to Lithuania. No, I've never been to Lithuania. I've been to Latvia, but I've never been to Lithuania. No. Have I read Borges? No. Do I hold the bitcoins? No, I don't, you guys. Sorry. I sold that Bitcoin that I won a 40 to 40, 40.5 K. So I'm obviously very happy. I did that. That would have been, that would have been very unpleasant to have held that and be sitting on like a $20,000 loss versus the original value. The Queen D4, 92. We all told you to rush and sell. No, actually when I did sell it, a lot of people in chat were up. So they're like, now you have to pay, you have to pay like capital gains tax on it. If you just held it, it would have, you would have been smarter. Um, a lot of people actually did not like it when I said that. Very, they really didn't like it. A lot of people didn't like it. There, there were some who were like, yeah, you, you should. But there were quite a few when I said that on stream, they were like, you sold it? Like, what's wrong with you? The queen b3. A four, I just trade the knights. Go check and check and check. What else am I good at in life except chess? Just some things, not a lot. A few things. Bitcoin's going 250k in three years, yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Let's go check. Let's do a tickle tickle. Whoa, what? Oh, he played 95. Whoops. Uh, I won the Bitcoin in the Gadmator Lee Chess Arena. It was the Cake DeFi Arena is what it was technically called. Um, And that was in, uh, that was, when was that? That was in, um, that was in, uh, that was like Jan December, January, I think of this year. I think it was Cassano for the three. I think it was Simon for the Prime and K3 with the Prime. Yeah, I think it was like December, January of this year. A9 have asked if you've been in Qatar. Yes, I have. I played uh, the World Rapid and Blitzer in, I believe, 2017 or something, whenever it was. But yes, I have been there. Yay! Thank you so much to Cat190300 uh, for the eight months. Thank you so much. Do I do a technical analysis? You mean like of my chess games or you mean of the market? I mean, of chess games, obviously. The market, no. Are the questions asked them normally is asinine unrelated to chess? Pretty commonly, Trippy Flip. Pretty commonly. 
Would I choose Japan over the U.S. to live? Um, no, of course not. Why would I? Why would I live in? Why would I live in Japan? Uh, actually, speaking of Japan, it's pretty funny because this morning, for whatever reason, I ended up watching some stuff on Carlos Ghosn, um, the Lebanese, uh, you know, former CEO of Nissan, Renault, and everyone else. And after watching that, I was like, oh man, Japan. Eey. Hey, yeah, yeah. Let's keep going. Yeah. Let's go E3 King E2 here. I'm going to stick the pawn. Uh, he had to escape in luggage. Yeah, well, I mean, that's pretty amazing. For a, mo for a modern day, for like a modern day escape, that's like the greatest thing I've ever seen. Yeah. I mean, for a modern day escape, that's like... It feels like straight out of the movies. That's like as good as it gets. The dudes that helped him are in prison now. Really? Hmm. That's unfortunate. Go king up one target of the night. Let's play end peasant, of course. Bum, 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 bum. It's almost 420. Yeah, exactly. Let's trade and go check. Hey, mate, let's keep going. Gone, but not forgotten. Yeah. Play here. I guess I'll play G6, Bishop G7. The goal of speedrun is at least 3,100, maybe 3,200, depending. Um, I finished my development. Oh, this guy's pretty serious. He goes f4. Yay! Super serious. Let's go queen e7. Here's Sahin for the seven months. Just took five dollars out of Bezos's pocket. Thanks. Thanks for the content, Hikaru. Thanks so much to Sahin. Appreciate it. Thank you. Now, I'm a little bit better. It's not clear to how I win this, but with this these great darks, with this great darks for control, eventually I should be able to bring the game home. Hey go here stop any weird night before so let's play f5 oops there goes the bishop i mean i have a strong chance to hit 2000 i mean i'll hit i'll be way above 2000 uh, i don't know how quickly i'll finish the speed because i am taking it a little bit slow whoops i didn't mean to go rook f6 but that's okay whatever let's take go here in king f7 Let's just trade, go King G7, the rookie eight. All right, let's go rookie two, maybe rookie eight two, or rook B2. Go back, tickle, tickle, bring the king in, bring the rook back over. Just check me. Keep going. Hey. What would I say? Hey. Let's go here. Knight of two. Uh, okay, I guess we'll take. Trade some queens. Let's take the bishop. Uh, let's go bishop D. Or wait, it's not my move. Um, probably F4 next move. Ooh, ugly move. Let's go F4. How do you keep interest in chess for this long? Because it's the only thing I'm good at, you guys. If I, I mean, if you're good at something, you're always going to love it. It's just that simple. Do I have a gun? Excuse me? Sorry, what kind of question is that? <laughs> yeah, I mean, as soon as, I mean, geez, someone asked, as he normally asks all these ask nine unrelated questions, and as soon as that happens, I was like, well, do you have a gun? Like, yes. Yeah. No, of course I don't have a gun, you guys. Like, seriously. Do I have a water pistol? Like, one of those big water guns you used as a kid? I probably have one of those somewhere, actually. But, um, yeah. Do I agree with the law? What do you mean by do I agree with the law? That, that's a tricky question to answer. Uh, I'll just take the pawn. 
go here. He's forgetting about his rook that's hanging. Oops, there goes the other rook. Not, not so good. It's not so weird to have a gun. Oh, I'm not saying people can't have guns. Of course, plenty of people do. But I don't own one, of course. 